we are Igudusman and Jew and we decided to invite some of the most extraordinary stars and freaks to our cycle at the Turnhalle Düsseldorf. We want you to experience some of the most incredible musicians, musical unicorns, incredible geniuses who play so many different instruments, who dance, who sing much better than us. Marius Prada comes from Romania and plays almost every instrument under the sun, but the instrument he championed into the world of jazz is the cymbalon. He is a freak in the best sense because there is so much freedom in the way he makes music. Yeguzman and Jude discovered Marius thanks to their friend and film composer Hans Zimmer and now they perform on stage together in Stars and Freaks. So when you came out of your mommy's tummy, were you basically just playing every single instrument? No, no, it's impossible. I play the cymbalom, the vibraphone, which I've studied. Uh, I play the piano, the accordion, the violin, contrabass. I play palm flute, I play guitar, actually. I play many instruments. Uh, tr and tr the trumpet now, it's very, very new to me. Yeah, percussion, yeah, for sure. <laughs> The idea here is that everybody's going to be swapping instruments. Well, actually, everybody who can. Can you stay there? You can stay here. Why not? And then, and then how, about, how about that? Then double speed. So what? Are you saying that, like? It would have been normal to hear like the music of Haydn or Bach on a cymbalon. <laughs> really? <laughs> You can take my bass and I take the flute yes. or the piano or yes. whatever. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, this guy plays a million different instruments. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> but amazingly, not just like a little bit. This okay. genius. All right. um, and the idea did not come from us. Well, it came from Michael Becker. Um, I have children and they use Facebook. Oh no, they don't use Facebook. That's for grandmas, they say. But Insta, whatsoever, TikTok. And they always they say, uh, say uh, Papa, look. Fantastic clarinetist, uh, look, fantastic drummer, whatever. And I always thought, yeah, they're fantastic, but I could never invite them. And then I thought, but they are so interesting, so attractive as artists, and I would love to have them on stage. I end up in the Netherlands by an invitation of a friend of mine who recently passed away. And um, it was a fantastic palm flute player, Nikolai Pirvu. And uh, this guy was in a way my salvation. I believe that angels are here on, on earth because the work is doing through people. Uh, because of him, and uh, I, owe, I owe him all my 
success and uh, everything actually. How do people react to the cymbalom in particular? Because this is not an instrument that people know. The first reaction is, uh, wow, what kind of instrument is that? It's a little bit weird. You know, I, I don't see the instrument as, as a, an instrument. I see the instrument as a being. It's a continuation of me, of uh, people who are playing the instrument. And also, because it's made, it's wood, you know, made it, and there, there is energy. Like my mission, on my own hands, to, to make the instrument known and to introduce my instrument in the jazz world. I did it 100% uh, because now the instrument is known and I'm known in the jazz scene as the, the first jazz cymbalon player in the world. When I heard Igutasman and Joe for the first time, I was amazed by, actually, by the power, the energy. But for me, what I've seen, I've seen two monster musicians. My reaction was like, do they need another crazy guy? <laughs> Are you guys ready? So let's go to the artists and look, they must have a ritual. Normally they change underpants or they sing something. We will see. Hello? Oh, Michael, you're here. Hello. Uh, we have, this is our ritual. We touch our nipples. Oh, how lovely. And we touch each other's nipples. Okay. You want to join us? Oh, of course, yes. Okay, so, right, yeah. so, so, uh -huh. come here. So, hmm. close your eyes. Sorry. <laughs> uh. First I was afraid, I was petrified. Petrified. Kept thinking I could never live. Without you by my side. They can manipulate the stage because it's kind of you know, this interaction, 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 crazy, crazy, but then it's a kind of kind of manipulation in a in a good sense. that people start to feel that ah, aggression and then ah, this, this. <laughs>
I think it's the most challenging project ever in my life. We will survive! When people hear that, they, me too, man. I, I'm now 40, almost 45 years old. If I say I play so many instruments, when I was young, I never thought about impressing people. Like by, you know, by playing more instruments, I will impress more people. It was not about that. It was about the love of the, for the instruments. Uh, if I uh, ever impressed a girl with my music, I think the, one, the, the only one girl was my mom. <laughs> Why was he <you> prince? <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs>